Welcome in all my friends, Lazy Retired Granny here. It is Saturday, March 23rd, 2024. The time is 8.18 a.m. here in, well, it was foggy. The fog is lifting now. And it's supposed to rain, but it's looking pretty good out there right now. The sun peeks out every once in a while. And then leaves, it's uh, not uh, peeking out right this minute. And I don't know when it's supposed to start raining, but yep, we'll see. Okay, and beside me, I'm drinking my caffeinated breakfast blend coffee with French vanilla creamer and once again, in my coffee mug that says, I just want to drink coffee and pet my dog. And underneath the candle lamp, once again, the cotton candy, melon and musk candle wax. I have one more to go tomorrow. Then we get to change it up. Yeah, it's all about change. Here it is. Granny's little part of the world. <laughs> okay, and I am continuing my journey on Diamond Art Club's Anticipation of the Day Ahead by Chuck Pinson. It is a 36.6 inches by 27.6 inches or 93 by 70 centimeters. It has a thick nine colors with four ABs and AB stands for Aurora Borealis which are drills with a special effect coated on them and they are great for creating extra shimmering effects on the diamond painting and where am I you ask on the diamond painting I will show you so I was ambitious and I did finish this section yesterday and now I've moved over into this section Yep, moving right along. So, did I say what time it was? It's 8.21 a.m. And why, you may ask, am I a little bit tardy this morning? Well, I had a good time this morning. What did I do? Crafting with B had a live at 7 o'clock my time. Yep, I was in there. And as I think there was eight of us in there, I believe, um, nine. And what a great time we had. Boy, her lives just keep getting better and better. There was so much interaction with all of us, you know, talking to each other and talking with me. And yeah, it was, it was great. Just she has her lies that are an hour long and it's like, wait a minute. When that hour was over, it's like, no, we've only been on here a few minutes, but no, nope, the hour had passed. So if you have not checked out her lies, she does them on Thursday evenings. Now on Thursday evenings, it's eight o'clock her time, which is central time, which is six o'clock PM my time. So these are in the evening. And then she does one on Saturday mornings, which is 9 a.m. Central Time, which is 7 a.m. My Time. Just, oh man, I had a good time. And, um, you know, you meet new people and you, yeah, you just talk about so many different things. And, um, but today, yeah, 100%, over 100%, I had a wonderful time. It was great. So I'll share her link down below. And if you haven't subscribed to her, you know, hey, go over there and subscribe. Be her friend. I just love me. I, I just have such a good time with her. And she does a lot of canvases that um, are different than what I do, but I just love all of them. And she has so much fun with them. Just, 
she just has a knack for picking out these super duper cute canvases to do. So um, I get to live her diamond painting um, experience, you know, on things that are different than what I do. And I like that. So, um, okay. So what am I working? We hardly got any diamond painting done today during her live because we were chit-chatting so much that I don't think any of us got any diamond painting done. <laughs> but that's a good thing, right? <laughs> oh, so much fun. Okay, so now I completely forgot what I was doing before I did that chat. Um, so we're on color 16, which I call the squiggles. That's just my nickname for it. And I'll show you it is right there. And that is color 435. And let's look that up real quick. 435 is very light brown. So, um, let's see. So where's my squiggles? Here's some squiggles right here. I have, did I miss any down here? I completely was so engrossed in that live. I can't remember what I was doing. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. All right, let's take some coffee. Okay, I am off and running. So, um... So yesterday, I gave Ellie her shower. Whew, she needed it. And I used that new medicated shampoo. And let me tell you, I really scrubbed her down. And um, and then, as usual, I... Um, dried her all off and then I put on her medicated spray which is um, for allergies so she got a good rub down with that and then I noticed she had a little owie on her elbow in the front so I got some of the um, butter balm I use Dr. Naylor's Utter Bomb. This is what it looks like. Yeah, and I got to stop at the, the uh, tractor shop and get some more because that's where it's the cheapest there. It's like 10 bucks there versus 15 on Amazon or Chewy or, you know, any of those places. It lasts a long time. You only used a little bit. And you know what? It smells good, and yeah, she doesn't mind it at all, and it works like instant. If your dog has any little um, scrapes or whatnot, yeah, that's what I use it for. And I get her the medicated one, and it's an antiseptic ointment, and it's also... It's supposed to be for cows, but you can use it for dogs. And it says, designed to remain in prolonged antiseptic contact to reduce danger or external infection by inhibiting bacterial growth and permit clean, natural healing. Um, and it's for udders, but it works great. Um, it's for chapped teats, minor cuts, scrapes, scratches, windburn, sunburn, all that stuff. Do not use in case of deep puncture wounds or serious burns. Consult your veterinarian. If redness, irritation, or swelling persists or increases, discontinue use and consult veterinary. Thoroughly wash Udder and teats before milking. Well, we don't have to worry about that since she's not a cow. Um, 
I have used it for a really long time. Um, and I cannot remember for the life of me who told me about it. But yeah, I have used it for years and it is a miracle worker. And it's a salve, so you just take a little bit. You don't even have to use a lot and just rub it there on the sore or whatever a couple times and voila. Yeah, but anyway, that's, don't take my word for it, but it works for my dog. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um... Because she has such a thick undergrowth, it just takes forever for her to get dry. And so after she's all dry, then I brush her really good and get all that extra under coat hair. But, and unfortunately it was not sunny yesterday, so it took a while for her to dry. And four towels later, but even though it takes four towels, she's still damp, and then she likes to lay down after her shower, so um, what I do is she lays down on her a towel, and then I cover her with a blanket, and you know, with all of her heat that she has, um, you know, I don't want her getting cold because it's not summertime. So, yeah, it takes a few hours. And then I take her out. Here she is. She knows I'm talking about her. So she's going to send her secret message to everybody. Huh, Ellie? You always have secret messages. One of these days, I'm going to have to ask you guys, what is the secret message she sent to you? You can tell me in the comments below. I won't tell her that you told me. So, um, anyway, then, um, yesterday afternoon, she was dry, and so I took her outside to brush her, and I, oh my gosh, all the hair that came off of her. Oh my goodness gracious. But, when I got done with that, let me get to my next number here. 54, which is 3837. So let's look that up. Ultra Dark Lavender. So that's probably going to be some flowers. We only have a little bit right here. So anyway, um... I got done brushing her, and then I, you know, was petting her. Oh, my goodness. Her coat was silky soft. That new shampoo I got, oh, my goodness. And she had, I don't know, some scaly skin on her belly. And so... When she laid back on the couch, I had her lay over on her back. They're gone. Yeah. That stuff is good. We got all of her dandruff or whatever it is off. She has a lot of allergies. So that's why I have to do the medicated because it is for skin allergies, um, and hers is environmental, not food, and um, yeah, and right now, because everything's blooming out there and doing its thing, yeah, she, sometimes she has to have showers um, once a week, once every two weeks, rather than once a month. Okay, so let's do the 37. Get some more color in here, which is 917. 
and 917 is medium plum. So, yeah, her other medicated shampoo that I was using, which I don't think they, I can get anymore. I'm not for sure where I bought it, but I couldn't find it. So I got, tried this because it got rave reviews. So I'm going to have to give a rave review also because that is great. If you watch my other video, my unboxing video from Amazon, you'll see um, I talked about it. Yeah, and she hasn't had any reaction to it, um, you know, all that good stuff. So, because with anything new, um, you know, you kind of want to see that they don't have a reaction to it. So she hasn't. And it's been 24 hours, I would think, if she was going to react. Um, she would have reacted by now. So, um, yeah, so I'm really pleased with that. Alrighty, so now we've got some fours down here. Those are ABs. I do know that. So let's go ahead and pop those in quick. We're just changing this up today, aren't we? I am using nano tape, so this works really good. I don't have to worry about. The wax sticking to it. Okay, that looks good. Alright, now let's see. I guess we'll shake it up and do the upside down tees. And see if I can find them on here. Seventeen. And that is going to be 436. And 436 is 10. How many upside down T's do I have? Well, we got quite a few in there, so let's check out a bunch. So yeah, that was, actually, I didn't get her in the shower. I guess it was mid-morning. Uh, she knew what was going on, and she wouldn't get up off the couch. It's like, you can't fool me. I know what you're up to. And, well, then something was going on outside, and of course, you know, she's nosy rosy. She had to go check it out, so she went running outside, and I thought, ha, 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 now's my chance. So, when she came back in, I slipped her collar on and walked her to the bathroom, and she was going, darn it, I messed up, now I gotta get in the shower. Now, she knows when it's shower time, so... She just walks in the bathroom by herself, and then she stands in the shower waiting for me. <laughs> and then, I mean, she's really good. She just stands there and lets me wash her off, and, you know, no problems at all. She's such a good girl. And, oh, I think that is a defective drill. And, yeah, and... So, brushed her teeth, didn't I, Ellie? Yeah. Yes, I did. You feel so soft. Oh, yeah. 
That feels good, doesn't it, girl? Yeah. No more itchiness. She's a happy girl. Yeah, I was worried about her because she wasn't eating real good. And I think it's just because, you know, her skin was bothering her. So now she's eating and she's running and she's feeling like herself again. So we may have to start the showers every two weeks. We'll see how it goes. Of course, if she'd stop rolling around in the grass and all that, but... But yeah, once we um, here, once the blossoms start, which ha just are starting, but if the wind blows, yeah, that's when we really get into the allergy season. But yeah, she had her, brushed her teeth and cleaned her ears. She doesn't mind her teeth being clean, but oh, she does not like having me clean her ears. But she is prone to ear infections, so. So she has a special ear cleaner that I use. And, oh man, I just looked outside that fog's coming in, and it's starting to look gray out there. So I guess maybe the weatherman was right. I was out there earlier. I let Ellie out to go potty before I... Because I was on the live with B for an hour, and then I was going to do this. I wanted to make sure she had gone out and got gone potty and all that before I started. And... Oh man, I thought, you know what? That weatherman's wrong. The sun was out and felt so good. And now look, <laughs> I guess maybe he was right. So anyway, yesterday, because I was delayed in giving her her shower and it was, and then I had to wash up all the towels and and stuff because I like to get those washed right away. I don't like them because they're soaked. So I did not get to Walmart yesterday. And I thought, oh, you know what? I can just do that Saturday. But then I forgot that, oh, wait, I'm going to be delayed because... V has her live, and I want to see that. And then I'll do my whip and chat after that. And then it's got a download or whatever it does. And sometimes that takes a while. I've got a dog here right there, and I'm trying to get it up. I tell you, dog hair here just, even though you can cover your canvas and everything else, well, is it stuck on there? It is. Nailed it. All right, I got that one. These are just little ones, and they're from her undercoat. Yeah, but because she comes over and does the excited butt wagon and stuff. Yeah, but you know what? She's worth it. Now I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> How can I forget so fast? Oh, yeah, upside down keys. <clears throat> um... But anyway, and then it was like, eh, I'm just not feeling going out and doing what I 
was going to do. So I thought, well, I'll get up today. Well, okay, I said that already. Um, and then I have to do my whip and chat, and then it's going to be late. And, eh, so I might go tomorrow. I doubt very much if I'll go today. But, you know, it's not really something that I have to do it. I got plenty of water. That's mostly what I'm going out. Ellie has plenty of food. So. So I really haven't made the executive decision whether to go out later this morning. But I'm just in the mood to diamond paint, to be honest with you. I am really getting into this canvas right now. And as it's coming alive, I just, I want to see what else I missed. Um, you know, that I didn't see before that I'm seeing now. Like these, well, there's some ducks over here and they came alive. And yeah, so I'm really into this canvas right now. I just want to sit in diamond paint. Do you ever get like that with your canvases? Yeah, so I am super, super stoked right now. I still have, I got that PR pack and for me, When I get a PR pack, I just feel like I have to get the canvases done and, you know, stop whatever I'm doing and do those canvases and so I can, you know, do follow-ups and show everybody. And I have just decided, you know what, I'm putting too much pressure on myself. I still haven't started that one. I got a kit up, the fairy one. And for me, um, yeah, I'm just kind of rethinking whether I really want to do the product reviews or not. I'm not shutting the door on it. I'm just thinking, you know, yeah, I got so many canvases right now that I want to do. And I've got so many friends that have the same canvases or one similar or whatever. And you know that my favorite thing to do is to do canvases with my friends. Whether it's, you know, like I said, the same one or... One by the same artist, the same theme, and that type of thing. And when somebody says, hey, Granny, let's do that canvas together. I am there. Oh, that just excites me. That I just, I just so much enjoy that because, you know, you're doing the same um, thing with a friend and encourage each other and just have fun and it doesn't matter it's not a race and so it doesn't matter who finishes first last you know it's just that interaction and you know like Becky and I just did one together um well she got she has her quilting also she works full time and even though i finished my canvas i still get to see hers and she, you know she's gonna mention things that maybe i didn't see in the canvas and you know you still get to live through the canvas, you know, through whoever you're diamond painting with. So, yeah, 
And the only thing is that sometimes it's hard to coordinate um, you know, starting at the same time. So you may not even start at the same time on canvases. And it's, um, I know I've got uh, one, well, it's better if you can kind of plan. Because <laughs> I have one that V and I had talked about doing together um, in July. So I know that in June... You know, that is scheduled for July. And I'm real excited about that canvas. So, um, 46. And that's going to be um, the Chuck Pinson, the Christmas one. So, yeah. Okay, so 46 is 3371. Three, three, seven, one. Black brown. And then I have two more of the diamond dots. They're small. Um, and I think there might be more people that want to do that with us, but Tina and I have that. So we're going to be doing that one together, or those two together. And we have a lot of um, the same canvases from Dreamer Designs. So hopefully we can do those together at some point. Um, nothing's written in stone yet, so. But we both do large canvases so and sometimes with that you know you just now Becky and I had planned way ahead uh, like October <laughs> that we would start the um, canvas that we did together on January 1st And we knew going into it that, you know, more than likely I would finish before her because she's a busy girl. Plus, she, she's on the go. Wow. She likes to get out and see the sights. And she's got her quilting. She's got work. Yeah. And a husband. And I don't have any of those things. <laughs> so... Oh, Ellie just dropped the ball. It scared me. And we all diamond paint at different speeds. You know, and there's sometimes that I um, lay the drills down at different speeds. You know, uh, maybe some days I'll only work on it for an hour, some, you know, five hours. Throughout the day, so. It's still fun. But that's just me. I do still want to do a few of those. Um, I don't. I don't want to call them events because they're not. Just something I want to do on my channel with people that want to do it with me. So. Gotta figure out when I want to do those. I'll give you advance warning. So if you want to join in with me, you can. Nobody is obligated.
everybody has to do their own thing, right? Whatever makes you happy. Whatever floats your boat. Oh, I was watching um, Tita's unboxing from Tamu. Oh my gosh, I have to have it all. Well, everything but the jar lids. Um, but yeah, I may have to go on Tamu. Tamu, that's how you say it, Tamu. According to one source, it's called Timu, but their commercials, it's Tamu. Who knows? China Mail, that's what I call it. Back in the days, that's what we called it. It wasn't a company name at all. It was just China Mail. Becky, I think, remembers those days. Yeah, on YouTube, they would label their description as uh, China Mail. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. China mail took forever. You think it's long now. It used to be longer. <laughs> I used to get all my China mail from New Frog. <clears throat> I think they're still around, but so many of those companies in China are merged together with different names and but they're all the same company, I think. Just different divisions. So yeah, today AI... Today my goal is to finish this big section and then move up here. <clears throat> we'll see. Uh, because I am going right along on this painting. There is so much that, you know, there's no confetti so far. It is not confetti heavy. So it's going really quick. At least in this part. Let me look at the picture. It might be a little confetti right here in the tree. And it's probably going to be how I square it off. Because I do mine in squares. And if it's confetti heavy, I do smaller squares. But none of this looks confetti heavy. That doesn't. The sky doesn't. So, I think that should go pretty fast. I'm trying to get caught up on London City Walks YouTube. I am way behind. And I think I'm like, I don't know, let me see. Oops, wrong mouse. I have too many mice in the house. Let's see. I have four videos to watch and they're all an hour long. <laughs> so 
I have plenty to watch there. And then I get distracted <coughs> with them because I have to sit and actually watch what's going on with the horses. Those horses, oh my gosh, they are just so fun to watch. All their per little personalities and, um, yeah. <laughs> They have minds of their own sometimes. I just, oh man, I just love watching that. Okay, dokie, I think I got all those. All right, what's next down here? Looks like we got the hourglass. I finally am calling that the right thing. That 57. 3860. You would think I have these memorized, but nope. This brain is not. Coco? Did I say that right? Yeah, Coco. I mean, I thought I had the wrong color, but. I have quite a few of those. I want to double check that. Did I get that right? Three eight six zero. Well, I just want to check that color. Three eight six zero. Yep, Coco. Kind of a light Coco. Okay. So yeah, yesterday went by so fast. Oh man. Of course I was busy. And I don't know what I was busy doing, but busy goofing around. Last week went really fast for me. This next week, um, gotta do my housework. So I'll do a little each day. And I think, let's see, it's Easter weekend, so probably want to stay away from the stores on Saturday and Sunday because people will be out shopping for last minute Easter or whatever they do. So I don't want to go out then. So maybe I'll go doing my running around on Friday. That might be good. And then plus the kids will be um, on spring break, so yeah, I'm going to get out of here early, I think. Maybe Friday. I'll decide. As the days get closer. Whatever I kind of feel like doing, right? Let's see, anything else 
next week, I don't think. I don't think I have anything on the books next week other than doing some cleaning. If the weather turns nice, I might have to, uh, you know, get out there and get some exercise and do some mowing. I'm glad that I did mow once more before the weather turned. This year, I'm giving the grass a year off, so I'm not watering. Now watch, this year it will be a rainy summer. And it won't die off or, you know, go into hiding. Just because I want it to. But I shouldn't have to mow as much. Last year, I had to mow about every four days. So I was getting lots of exercise. I was hoping to go out and have a little walk with Ellie today, but I don't know. It's still not warm out there. I do not enjoy walking when it's cold. I wish Ellie would go on walks with me in the park, but she won't. She won't get out of the car. Not her thing. And that's okay. Well, we're coming up to 48 minutes already. How many eyes do I have left? Okay, let's finish off or the eyes. That's what I was calling them, but oh no, I got all of this. Well, we'll do as much as what we can. We'll do this section. Anyway, I was calling them eyes because with my eyes, they look like eyes, but they are hourglasses. I did get a little bit of knitting done yesterday. I watched some more of Everybody Loves Raymond. That show is hilarious. I do miss watching Cozy Mysteries. I just love those. And... just haven't found another one that I have not watched, but I do enjoy going back and watching the ones I've already watched. So, but you know, 
trying to branch out a little bit and see if there's something else out there I like. But I do not subscribe to a lot of streaming services. I just won't pay for it. So um, I share a couple with my son, Paramount Plus and let's see, Netflix. I think that's it. <clears throat> and then I have Acorn TV. And I'm thinking about adding BritBox again because they have a lot of new shows and a lot that I want to check out. And you know, it's a monthly thing, so, and I think I might be able to get it a month free again. So then I can go in, check it out, and see if. I'm going to keep it or not. I mean, I don't mind. Even if I have to pay for a month. But. Yeah, a lot of shows that I really, really like are on there. And they did get the subscription for it. You can't watch them, you know, anywhere else. Just like a lot of the subscription services. That's where they get you. And I don't mind, you know, on my Roku, you do get some free stuff and they have commercials. And which... I don't mind because during the commercial I can get up and do something, you know, go to the bathroom or, you know, whatever. Usually the commercials aren't too bad. Um, you know, they're only a couple minutes. I don't watch too much too much of that with the commercials but every once in a while there's something on there I do want to see so yeah I tolerate the commercials that's okay it's free and free is always good Yeah, whenever they have good deals on streaming service, which, like during Black Friday and stuff, you can get some excellent deals. I've done that before. And it's such a good deal that, um, you know, you get it for six months, you know, or... Um, three months or, you know, something and, you know, for 50% off or, you know, whatever. Sometimes they have, you know, or buy one month, get one month free, those types of things. I've done that before. And what I do is I subscribe and then I wait a couple days, then I go in and I say cancel. And then they just cancel when your subscription is up that you paid for. Then I don't forget to unsubscribe. But yeah, um... I think a lot of people do it that way. But 
But yeah, some of the streaming services, you know, where you get... <clears throat> I can't think of the name of them. Is it Sling or something where, <clears throat> you know, you pay 40 bucks a month and you get things that you don't even watch? Um, <laughs> I don't watch that much TV, so it is just not worth it to me. And at this point in my life, if I miss something, oh well. Not earth shattering like in my younger days. All right, is that all of them? Oh, we finished that off. All right. Oh my gosh, now I'm at 56 minutes, people. But you know me, I could sit here and jibber jabber all day. All right. Well, I appreciate you stopping by and keeping me company. And make sure that you comment. Tell me what you're up to and all that good stuff. And uh, if you um, like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't become one of my friends, I would love to have you as a friend so hit the subscribe button if you want to see upcoming videos as I post them just hit that notification bell and uh, yeah so I do appreciate you stopping by and as always I will talk with you later